A while back, I told you about an absolutely heartbreaking case of Ashley Clark. She is a, a disabled young woman who was ambushed, terrorized, and beaten for hours in her own home by a teenage couple. We weren't able to show you their mug shots or give you their names before. Now we can. Richard Jones is the sheriff of Butler County, Ohio, and Bobby Clark is the father of Ashley Clark. We have wanted to, um, uh, we've wanted to have you guys on for a while, but um, Bobby, we've we we haven't because um, because of what's going on in the courtroom, and we have some really good news. And Sheriff, I, l let's start at the beginning with you first. Let, let's um, go to the beginning and just describe quickly, uh, refresh people's memory on on what happened to Ashley. Well, basically, these two people broke into Ashley's home um, and the night before, and they waited for the mother to leave that morning. They stayed in the basement. They hid out. They left that morning, the mother did, and they went upstairs from the basement area, and they basically began to torture Ashley all day long, six, seven hours all day. Uh, they cut her hair off. Um, they, they tied her up. They made her walk outside in the snow barefooted. They put her in the shower, soaked her down wet. Uh, they hit her in the head with a ball bat. She begged him not to strike her in the head. She's had brain surgery. She has a disability. Very nice girl. She knew these people. They basically tortured her for six or seven hours in her own home. Okay. Um, priors? We can now talk about priors. These sure. dirt bags have prior records? Oh, yeah. On average, the, the both of them have about 15 priors, which includes uh, assault, um, uh, weapon charges. Um, I mean, they've, they've been in trouble probably since they were 12 years old. Why? This isn't the first time. And you know, at some point, you've got to ask yourself, why aren't we putting people in jail? Now, they're going to be tried as adults. It's the bail is some of the highest anybody has, has ever seen. <laughs> It's a million dollars cash, is it not? A million dollars cash. Some of the highest I've seen. But we're fortunate. We have a judge in this case uh, that's really a really a, a person's, the people's judge. And he sent a message on this. Okay. Um, Bobby, first of all, how is Ashley? Uh, she's doing as, as good as she can. Um, I, I, my heart was absolutely broken when I, when I heard this. Um, I have three daughters myself, and I can't even imagine what you and the family have gone through, let alone what Ashley has gone through. Now you sat in the courtroom, uh, and you saw the judge give these two a million-dollar cash bail. They're not going anywhere. Um, and said they were going to be tried as adults. How did they react, and how did you react? Well, I'm just uh, I'm real happy at the outcome of it. Uh, it's just been the sheriff's office and the prosecutor's office and Judge Kraft done exactly what I wanted, uh, it, bounding it over to uh, adult court because I feel that these people needs every day they can get. Did, 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 how did they react in court? Uh, they was kind of astonished. Uh, they were surprised. Their mouths just dropped open when he gave them the bond. Yeah, good, good. Um, Ashley, I understand, had a really hard time the day of the court case because you, um, she was crying. She's been afraid of these these people coming back and getting out, right? Yes. <clears throat> and and what happened uh, the day of the court case? She was a lot better after she actually watched the news at twelve o'clock and seeing that them people was bound over to adult court and that they had set that bond. We explained to her what it was, and she was really a whole lot better later on in the day after she seen that and after she realized that these people were going to be there a while. How has she been, how, how have you seen, what differences have you seen in your daughter since this? Is she the same, is she the same person? Uh, she has a little less trust with people now. Uh, she's starting to get some of it back. Are you the same person? I have to be real honest with you, Bobby. I have so much admiration. I mean, look at you. You're sitting there with that T-shirt with the great saying on it. I, it would take everything in me. I, I wouldn't, but it would take everything in me not to pick up my loaded gun. Um, I, I would be so angry you do this to my daughter. Um, how are you doing? Uh, well, at this point, uh, if it hadn't been for the sheriff's office and, and the people that works for the sheriff's office, talking to them and letting the system work uh, 
I'm just trying to concentrate on helping my daughter at this point. They cut up her prom dress. Yes. Any, any idea why they did that? I have no idea. And um, Saturday is her prom. Is she going? Yes, she's going. Uh, she was actually donated a wig by a wig shop in Fairfield and a local uh, dress shop, David's Bridal, donated her a new prom dress. And is it she's wearing the wig because they cut off all of her hair? Yes. Uh, Bobby, best of luck. Our prayers are with you. And Sheriff, you keep getting the bad guys, will you? Hey, good thing. Hey, Glenn, remember this. Uh, their pro officers aren't even born yet, and they're in the big boy jail now, and they're not going to have a lot of fun. I promise you that. God bless you both. Thanks a lot.